700,000 people have come to your security plus certification. Now, no offense to anyone, but you think a piece of paper is going to magically create a six-figure job for you. Huh. I've got bad news. You're playing a losing game. In 2025, a certification that costs $400 isn't your golden ticket. It's your entry fee. And in this video, I'm about to show you how to get ahead of the crowd. We're talking about the CompTIA Security Plus certification and whether it's worth your time and money in 2025. I'm going to share some stats with you that will shock you, but I'll also give you a six-step plan so you don't waste your time like everyone else. Now, today I'm going to be giving you three things. The brutal truth about Security Plus in today's market. Number two, why most certification holders stay broke, how to avoid their mistake. Now, my three-phase activation system that turns a basic SAT into a money generation asset. And by the way, I draw videos like this twice weekly, so go ahead and subscribe, then turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of it. Are you ready? Let's get started. My name is Ola Kwe, my co-founder of Excel My Cyber, where we help people get into cyber security in 90 days, either they have certification or not. Now, I've come to understand that most people that will watch this video are in one of three buckets. You're broke and Security Plus will fix it, right? You're making decent money, but want more. Or you're doing well and you want to stay ahead. And of course, we don't discriminate here. We don't. We welcome everyone who finds our videos valuable. But before we talk about anything else, let me tell you a story that you might be familiar with. So there's this guy. He was stuck at a help desk job making $23 an hour. That's about $40,000 a year. After taxes, it's barely enough to pay the bills. He saw that Security Plus orders make $99,000 in average. And he thought, that's my ticket. So he dropped $400 on the exam, bought some books, spent two months studying every night after work and lo and behold he passed the exam do you know what happened next nothing jake sent out 200 applications to security analyst jobs yes radio silence he finally got one interview where the hiring manager looked at his resume and said so by itself it gets you nowhere. And that's the absolute truth. If over 700,000 people worldwide have this certification, that's the population of Boston walking around with the exact same credential you just got. The average US company looking for an entry level security analyst, they get 5,000 applications per opening. 5,000. And guess what? Most of these applicants have Security Plus. Now, this is the fundamental problem. Most people treat Security Plus like an achievement rather than what it really is. A beginning it's like thinking you're a surgeon because you took a fourth aid class and the certification companies they love this they make millions selling you the dream while hiding the reality but I'm going to give you the truth today because I like you okay because that's what you came here for isn't it the first insight I'll be dropping on you is this security plus is not a qualification it's a filter okay in 2025 security plus is the minimum barrier to entry without it some jobs won't even consider you and with it you make it past the first automated resume scan okay that's it that's all it does it's like having a driver's license when applying to be a formula one driver does having a license mean you can drive professionally no but you can't even apply without one you understand what i mean now so the crazy part is over 63,000 job openings specifically request CompTIA Security Plus. It's the second most requested certification in all of cybersecurity. Okay, only CISSP is mentioned more often, and that even requires five years of experience. But this is where it gets interesting. The median pay for a security analyst is around $99,000. But new security orders plus with no experience, they start around 50 to 70K and many still begin in help desk roles. So let's say you are at a help desk making 50K. Get this credit plus my bump you to 60K, right? That's a 10K increase. For $400 and two months of study, that's a pretty good ROI. But if you think security plus alone will take you from 50K to 100K overnight, that's delusional and you've been sold a lie, okay? This is why most people fail with security plus. They treat it like the destination when it's just the starting point. When you understand the fact that Security Plus is just a filter, you immediately change your approach. You stop treating it as, oh, this is your end goal, and start using it as a leverage. 
you need to stop thinking about certification and start thinking about what happens after that certification the people selling you courses don't want you to know they don't want you to know this because once you pass the exam they don't care if you get a job or not they already got your money and that is why when i see beginners lamenting how they have security plus but they are so tired of dealing with rejection after rejection i'm like what were you expecting so my point is get the certification if you really think you need it but manage your expectations okay the second insight you need is to understand that security plus gives you the language not the skills now imagine you you're dropped in paris with only high school french can you ask where the bathroom is maybe but can you negotiate a business deal not a chance okay so security plus is your cyber security facebook it teaches you to say authentication zero trust and defense in depth right but it doesn't teach you how to actually implement this concept in the real world and this might make you uncomfortable but in 2025 employers don't care what you know they don't they only care what you can do see i often tell my students that i would rather employ a candidate that can show me projects that they've worked on rather than certifications they've earned why because certifications are claims but projects are proof okay security plus is your claim that you understand security but without proof that you can apply it okay you're just making empty promises you know that security plus exam question about configuring firewall right that multiple choice question in the real world no one is giving you four options to choose from you either know how to do it or you don't see this is why certifications alone fail you they teach you to pass a test not solve actual problems but as bad as everything i've said so far may sound there's still good news if everyone else is making this mistake and you are not that's how you win okay now when everyone else is collecting paper credentials you are building real world skills you automatically stand out that's it if you're doing that stand out i've met ceos of security companies who's you know they started with fifty thousand dollars jobs and now make seven figures not a single one credits their success to just having certifications every one of them talks about what they did with that knowledge so focus more on getting hands on skills it's beats having certifications nine out of ten times okay you know i get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cyber security it's tough especially if you're like how i used to be stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical, and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support, okay? We're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Now, to my third insight, and this is where we go from theory to money. I'm talking about strategic certification stacking. See, most people, they either get one sat and stop or they collect random certifications. And let me tell you, both approaches are leaving money on the table. Think of Security Plus as the foundation of a pyramid, okay? The, the pyramid, right? The foundation. By itself, it's just a slab, okay? Slab of concrete and all that. But when you strategically add the right blocks on top, you create something valuable. Security Plus by itself will get you 60K, 70K jobs. Security Plus plus practical projects should give you 70 to 80k jobs now security plus plus cloud sat like aws azure will most likely lead to 85 to 95k jobs and security plus plus python skills 
we're talking about 90 to 100k job each of these combinations opens different doors and different money but you need to be intentional right now combining security with cloud security skills gives you the highest roi but it gets better once you have security plus plus one specialization right you've separated yourself from 80 percent of the competition so what do you need to take away from this video be strategic about your certifications it will save you money and position you for the best opportunities now here's the thing let's talk about a battle plan okay how do you actually do this and i want to show you my three-phase system that turns security plus from a piece of paper into actual money phase one is for acquisition this should take about 30 to 45 days okay so if you're going to get security plus do it fast and do it cheap use free resources on youtube use practical exams from exam compass or you can also use pocket prep also join a discord study group for you know for the sake of accountability and then set a firm exam date and then commit to that timeline and most importantly budget 400 dollars for the exam okay you really don't need a boot camp for it total investment 400 dollars and 30 to 45 days of focused study if you study two hours a day that's 60 to 90 hours of your time is it worth investing 90 hours to increase your earning potential by ten thousand dollars per year right do the math that's over hundred dollars roi for every hour that you put in okay phase two is activation and it takes about 60 days this is where most people fail they get the sat and they stop you're going to do the exact opposite you'll build a home lab using free tools like security onion or kali linux then you're going to document everything you do on github okay create a walkthrough videos showing your skills join security communities on discord or reddit and then attend virtual meetups and networking events the key here is translating theory into practice okay for every security plus concept create a mini project that proves you understand it and now phase three you need leverage you will do this for 90 days this is the point where we convert your skills into dollars you will first strategically stack a complementary skill for this i recommend grc or cloud okay pick one one required okay after that create a focused resume that aligns project with job requirement then apply for positions that require security plus even if you don't meet all criteria i would also recommend using internal mobility if you're already at a company with a security team and lastly Position yourself as a security translator between technical and business teams. Now, how do I know this plan works? Because I've seen people use it and get results. So, it's left to you whether you see certifications as the end in itself or the first step to knocking down even more important things. Now, let me leave you with this final thought. People ask me all the time, is Security Plus worth it in 2025? My answer is always the same. It depends on what you're going to do with it. Security Plus is like a key. A key by itself is just a piece of metal. It doesn't do anything impressive on its own. But a key that opens the right door at the right time changes everything. The certification is invaluable because of what is in the exam. It's valuable because of what you do after you pass the exam. Do you understand? Now, 80% of people who get Security Plus in 2025 will waste it. They'll pass the exam, update their LinkedIn, then wonder why the job offers are not pouring in. But you've had the opportunity now to watch this video. You know the three-phase system, okay? You understand the exam is just the beginning. So you're going to be the person who collects certifications. So are you going to be the person who collects certifications or are you going to be the person who leverages them? Which one? Are you going to chase paper or are you going to build skills? The choice is yours. But at least I've shown you the real game that is being played see there's still a lot more to learn and i've just left you a recommendation in the description below so go check it out if you found this video valuable you find any value at all in this video please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and drop a comment below with your biggest takeaway i read every single one of them okay and in my usual manner i hope i'm leaving you today better than i met you i'll see you in the next one bye for now